Hello friends, this is Ramana. Today I will show demo on how to avoid null rows in Excel source and load the data in a size. So first I will show my data in Excel sheet. This is my data. If you observe the data starts from A10. Remaining 9 rows in the A column are empty. So the data starts from A10 to E16. This is the range of the data in my Excel sheet, sheet 1. So I want to load this data into the table. So to, uh, to ignore these null rows, I want to load only the particular data from this sheet. Now I am showing my database destination table. This is my EMP table. It contains 5 columns as I shown in the Excel sheet. So if you observe the structure and schema of the table, here you found a integer where chair integer decimal say for salary it's decimal and uh, department and name for it is where chair with 50 length so remember one thing if you want to load the data from the excel source to destination table you need to check the data types because excel supports only where chair where chair or text in my destination table uh, we have um, where chair data type column so that we need to implement the data conversion here. Now I will show how to load the data. After removing the null rows, how to load I will show now. First I am taking dragging the data flow task. So double click to configure. I am taking Excel source. So in Excel source there is one property called open row set. Use that property to, uh, to load the particular range of the data in Excel sheet. See here, in custom properties, access mode, there is open row set. So by default, this will select. Now, you need to mention your range here. First, you mention the table. Table here in the nothing but sheet 1. Sheet 1 with dollar symbol here so uh, take the range we already checked a10 to e16 the range of the data a10 e16 this is my range so you need to mention along with the sheet name and the range and um, now you need to configure the excel source see here the range is automatically selected here now you need to configure, you need to browse the sheet where it is located in your so my sheet is in downloads I am taking ok ok now you, you want to select your sheet sheet 1 I am taking sheet 1 go to columns so these are the columns and click ok so configuration has done successfully now uh, we need to drag the destination obviously it is through error because excel does not support the virtual data type to load i am connecting with the oldb destination double click so i am taking the new my database is test i am selecting the table my table as emp go to mappings and click ok so even the configuration has done it is showing the uh, some method so column EMP num cannot convert between between Unicode and non-Unicode non string characters. So that we need to take the data conversion transformation. I am using the data conversion transformation here. And first I am connecting with the Excel source. Double click. Select all columns. So this is double question float I need to change in database employee ID is the integer so I need to change this as the 4 bytes and integer and WHR is nothing but n where char I need to change it the where char so we already seen the length is 50 and the third one age age also I am changing is the 4 bytes and integer and salary is a decimal I am taking the decimal data type department name also it is 
where chair with length 50 and click OK. So configuration is done for data conversion. Now I want to connect it with the data conversion transformation to OLDB destination. So double click. We already selected the table. Just go to mappings and select copy of columns. Because we change the data types in data conversion. That's why we want to select all copy of columns. Click OK. Now it is, it is perfect. There is no error. Now if you go, if you see the data once again, there are six records it seems I think. Six records. Six, six records. All the six records will load into this table after running the package. See here, six rows. Six rows from Excel to data conversion and six rows from data conversion to OLDB. And go and check your table. Execute this one. See here, all six rows are loaded into the table. So this is how you know to handle the null rows if there are any in Excel source by using open row set by taking the property open row set you need to give the range range of access, uh, range of your data from range in Excel sheet data and run the package to avoid the, these null rows to load the only meaningful data into the destination table. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.